first thing to tell you about are the uh, conditions here. It is sweltering, 36 degrees. There is a breath of wind, which will be a welcome relief to the players, but very warm indeed, as was the case during the first match. The Nigerian supporters are here in force. They were fantastic in that first match. Non-stop singing, chanting throughout, and they were richly rewarded with a great performance from their side. May well be the target. Beatrice plays it in with purpose too and saved right by a near post by White. Excellent goalkeeping. You can't come much closer than that without scoring. Fine save by White and she just got a touch again. And Shunavani Oliveira tried to sneak on to the rebound at the far post. Ademo. That was a nice turn. Odega. Got the shot in and scores wonderfully. Francesca Ordega with a beauty. And right at the end of the half, Nigeria have the lead. Out of nothing, really. Absolute beauty from Francisca Ordega. Set up by Akobi, but after that, all her own work into the corner. The one place where Danielle couldn't get it. Wasn't so much the power, it was the placement. some inspiration from somewhere. Bit of space here for Thais Guidesh. She's dangerous and she's allowed to run at defenders. Teasing cross all the way through. Goalkeeper got a hand to it and Ketlin couldn't squeeze it in from a tight angle. Again, heart-stopping moments for Nigeria. They've had a few of them. Fegbu mistimed the jump. Beatrice didn't catch it properly. White made the save. The goalkeeper might be just... Uh, Carrying an injury, so it's played right under her nose, and it's an easy, now the flag's up. Not going to count. Offside flag is up. Was beautifully floated in. Ingrid's effort ruled out. Well, the replay will be really interesting to see exactly what happened there. Ingrid is the player with the headband at the bottom of your screen, and she's offside. Without any question offside. Same came so close to scoring in the first half, remember, with that effort that was uh, saved by White. Maybe it will be as well for Nigeria not to concede free kicks in those kind of areas. And Guidesh, who couldn't hit the target a little earlier with that effort from a central position, now has the chance. There's plenty of movement as Guidesh plays it in, and there's the equaliser, and it has been coming. As soon as she struck the free kick as well as that, there was never any doubt, just a single touch, just a perfect flip. The goalkeeper actually went down a tad early, but from that range, he had no chance, really. Yeah, what a lovely little flip. Giovanni Elvira is the scorer. Doho's throw. Once again, they were trying to get a flick, but there's no one who really gambled and read it. Otherwise, that might have been an opportunity. Full-time whistle here in Saitamar. And for the second game running, a late leveller earns Brazil a point, although the circumstances of this were entirely different. Brazil completely dominant in the second half. Eventually, Giovanni Oliveira got their deserved reward by heading in a free kick from Thais Guidesh there. Nigeria, who had finished the first half really strongly, offered precious little after the break and so it's finished Brazil 1, Nigeria 1.